Greetings gamers! EB Expo tickets have gone on sale. If you aren't familiar with EB Games Expo, guys, this is the event where basically all the future games for that next calendar year are presented for you to watch, play, uh, trial, um, there's press conferences. It's pretty much like Australia's version of E3 and you do get a lot of the major devs that come over from America or Paris or wherever they may be to actually bring their games to showcase. Now, I have been two years in a row now. This is the third year I will be going. Yes, I have brought my tickets um, and yes, I will be going. So if you're in the area, or if you're going, you might be able to meet up. Um, but guys, look, uh, basically I'm going to go through, break down what you get for what price and just basically give you some of the facts. So guys, it is the 30th of September to the 2nd of October. It is the Sydney Showground at a Sydney Olympic Park. The best way to get to the venue is going to be by train. But we'll get to that in a little sec. Getting back from the venue to the airport, if you are travelling via airport, I would recommend getting a taxi. It will be about $60. Uh, the reason why I say that is because with trains and stuff like that, if they're delayed or anything like that, you might end up missing your flight. But that said, with your taxi, guys, you want to make sure you're at least an hour of traveling time at least. All right? Um, because last year we were literally running to get to the train, to get to the plane. And that was with a cab. So thank God we didn't even bother training it. So... What is it? Where is it? So Sydney Olympic Park, uh, it's in Homebush Bay. Um, this year they actually say it is going to be bigger than any previous year. Um, they are allowing more venues and stuff like that. Uh, what is it? It's basically E3. It's the Australian version of E3 where you can go through and basically check out all the games, uh, the demos, um, go to press conferences and stuff like that. Um, and there is a lot of people with the media passes who, like hopefully will be myself, who will actually go through and talk about and do recordings and let you know what happens there. So if you can't attend, you can always just tune into the YouTube channels, like mine, for example. How much is it? Okay, this is where it gets complicated and this is where I'm going to break it down for you guys. So it does start on Friday the 30th September and it does finish on Sunday the 2nd of October. I would recommend everybody at least be there on the Sunday because at the end of the day on that 4 p.m. time slot they will have the cosplay walkout um, and it is really really good to watch um, basically it's all the cosplayers all get dressed up uh, there is cosplay competitions and everything that goes um, they will all walk out uh, as the venue finishes and closes um, and it'll be sort of like a marching out parade sort of thing so that's always cool to go to if you are a gamer, um, I would suggest also going on the Saturday because the fact that this venue does get packed um, and there can be a lineup for the venues. Uh, now, uh, like I said, last year we went, it was Halo 5, it was previewed there, we did get to play it. Um, it was a four hour list wait, um, which was insane. I think it was about four and a half hours in the end. Um, we did wait the whole four and a half hours and my phone battery died halfway through it. Um, but yeah, we were waited the four and a half hours and we did get to play Halo. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile going on the Saturday and Sunday if you can make it. Um, if you're not in the area, there's a local, you will need to book accommodation. I will get to that in the point as well. Um, but we'll just stick on to the topic at the moment. So uh, Saturday, most likely. Sunday, you definitely want to go. Friday, Friday is more of a media thing. It's more for people in the industry. Yes, the venue is open. Um, yes, you can go on Friday if you can't go the Saturday or Sunday. But to be honest, if you're going to go Saturday or Sunday, you probably won't do the Friday anyway. Um, I can't imagine you've been there for three days. Um, like I was recording everything and everything like that, and I still ran out of things to do towards the end of Sunday afternoon. Um, so if you are going just for games and stuff like that, and you're just a gamist, uh, then I would suggest the Saturday Sunday pass. They do have the weekend pass, which is $99. Um, that will cover you for the Saturday and the Sunday. Now, if you can't attend one of those days, 
Uh, you can go through and get the general mitten pass. Uh, so the Saturday pass is $69 just for the Saturday, or the Sunday is $39.95. Uh, now, if you are a really keen gamer and you don't want to line up, you can get the Express Gamers Pass. Um, now, that is for Saturday is $199, or for the Sunday it is $99. Now, the Ultimate Cosplayer Pass is obviously entry to all the cosplay competitions and all the people that get to enter. Um, it is $449. This is a new thing this year. I didn't see it last year. Um, so I'm not quite sure what else that it does entail. Let's see. Here it is new. Ultimate Cost Plus. Three day expo of that. Da, 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 uh, an Ultimate Cost Plus welcome dinner. Uh, secret room escape and freebie uh, souvenir. Okay, cool. So it's like the Ultimate Gamer Pass. Uh, now, apart from that, if you are a full-on gamer, you are going to be there for three days. You don't want to wait up in lines, and you want to sort of just get through the head of the queue. They do have the express queues there for people that have paid the extra. But guys, that is $749. But that said, you also do get a dinner. Uh, you get a free gift um, and three-day access. It is really, really worthwhile if you can afford it. Um, maybe one year I might fork out the 750 bucks. Um, won't be this year though. Um, that's for sure. I need a lot more views than that. So yeah, maybe sometime in the future. But yeah, obviously you get your access to the upstairs room. Um, you get obviously uh, you get to jump in the head of the uh, of the crowds. Uh, plus you actually get access to the venue early. Um, you get a souvenir, you get a dinner, um, so yeah, it's pretty cool as well. Um, but guys, like I say, if you are only going for the one day, uh, Saturday pass I would suggest for $69. If you are going for both days, I would suggest the weekend pass, um, it is $99. Um, or if you're obviously just going for the Sunday, then I would suggest the $39.95. Now, where to get these tickets, guys, is ebexpo.com.au. So, definitely worthwhile checking that out as well. That is basically a screenshot of what I've been showing you. Um, so, you'll be able to see all the prices on there as well. There are a lot more passes than I've explained. I've just sort of picked the highlights and just sort of given the basic ones for you. So, check that out. Um, apart from that, guys, look, it's really worthwhile going. We had a great time last year. Um, I will upload a video over the next few days, which will be a preview and show you what we did last year. Um, so it'll be a recording. I haven't got around to that yet. I know it's almost a year later, but I apologize. Um, I'll upload that soon. Um, apart from that, guys, oh, where to stay? There are major events near the expo. In fact, there's about three or four major hotels. Um, you've got the Novotel. You've got the... Uh, um, you've got... Um, Oh, the one I normally stay at. Pullman. Pullman Resort, where we normally stay. Um, you have, um, I, I think there's Budget Line. There's so many hotels around there, and they're all walking distance from the resort, from the event. So they're really, really convenient. Um, normally, if we stay in the Pullman this year. I might mix it up a little bit and stay in the Novotel. Um, I'll decide the accommodation when it gets a little bit closer to the date. Um, but guys, look, obviously it's really, really worthwhile going and, uh, and look, uh, if this video is helpful, please click like. Remember, subscribe for all your content regarding gaming. And apart from that, guys, look, hopefully I'll see you guys at EB. Um, I will post something on Twitter when I'm there, um, just to sort of say, hey, I'm here. Um, and if anyone's in the area and they want to catch up, then obviously you can hit me up on Twitter. Um, apart from that guys, look, enjoy yourselves, have a great night, and hopefully I'll see you at EB Games Expo. Have a great night, enjoy.